e-commerce website creation 12 proven steps to launching your online store successfully starting an online store from scratch entails a thorough detailed and time-consuming process from content writing to product listing to data encryption to platform security you need to ensure all sub processes are well oiled so that your SEO strategy can match with consumer searches and needs We've compiled in this video all the steps you need to properly build and launch your e-commerce site. Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you were to ask me. And if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Let's roll. Today we have two 12 proven steps to launch in your online store successfully. Let's just jump right into it. Number one, acquire a domain name, right? This is pretty straightforward, right? You you need a domain name that will perfectly identify your brain. Don't try to overthink the process here. Just go to one of those uh, domain, domain name um, um, platforms. And you can just buy one for, you know, under $10. I'm not gonna name names here, but you have a lot of uh, the domain name providers out there, right? So that's number one, acquire a domain name. Number two, hire a web developer. This is very important. If you wanna launch uh, your e-commerce site, you want to be able to do it in a professional manner and you wanna do it with, with, you know, as soon as possible. As long as you, you can, if you have the talent for it, go for it, right? Otherwise, you just want to be able to hire someone who has experience in the specific field in your niche right you can ask uh, other entrepreneurs you can reach out to people in your industry so that they can refer you to a web design specialist all right so the idea here is to to hire someone who has done similar websites in in the past because websites requirements differ from industry to industry this is very important number three you want to make your business official it's very important to, to make things legit right if you're trying to go forward if you try, if you want to go if you want to have success in business you want to comply with all rules and regulations out there right so you want to register your business you want to gain you want to get a vendor's license if applicable and you want you want to start looking into legal business issues right it's very important to at this stage to get a lawyer Unless you have legal expertise yourself, you want to hire someone to sort of guide you at least from the from the get go. Right. A lawyer is pretty good because they can help you incorporate. You can follow the incorporation papers with the State Department. They can help you draft uh, contracts for for employees so employment contracts They can help. They can look into regulatory issues and see whether you qualify, whether you abide by the uh, regulations, whether you need any special licenses. Right. So this is very important. Remember that you will need to register the appropriate articles of incorporation. You know, again, as I said, with your state secretary of state, you know, so if you're starting a corporation, nonprofit, LLC, limited, limited liability company or professional organization. All right. Now, you, this is very important. And you want to once you you have that, once you register, the IRS will send you something called an EIN. So that's your federal employee employer identification number. This is basically your company's social security number. This is how the IRS will track your revenue and make sure that you are paying your fair share of taxes. Now, number four, you want to choose an online store and e-commerce solutions provider right so here the thing here is that you can um, there are several of them right so we have shopify you have woocommerce you have big commerce right and it, it's just better to pick one of those because most developers that you most web developers are familiar with those three which makes it easy to integrate things like payment processing plugins and so on and so forth right so you can you can basically of course for those you have to pay there's a small fee on a monthly basis to be able to uh, make sure your site has a fast and secure hosting capabilities but it's really worth it right think about it if you have an online store you don't have to pay rent you don't have to pay rent to a physical maybe uh, maybe uh, depending upon your, your uh, upon your business you might have to pay some rent, but 
overall a lot of folks are working from home they have their online store they're doing drop shipping things have been shipped from one place to the other and they're not incurring any costs so the only cost they might incur are the costs that relate to servers to website hosting to um yeah so this is pretty worth it all right so now on shopify for example once you have the your your website set up you you're gonna have to if you want to if you want to get paid of course everybody wants to get paid right you are in commerce e-commerce to make money so you want to connect payments and you want to set prices in your e-commerce site right so on shopify you can have that you can also set the right product prices so to make sure that you are able to um, to get things done quickly you can also once you have that you get your ssl certificate right so ssl stands for secure socket layer so ssl certificates allow you to stay uh, allow you to say that your site is extra secure right and this is very important because google in the last few years has they had made ssl certificates more prominent in its chrome browser all right so this gives also extra uh, extra layer of assurance to clients and and uh, and business partners that you know what you are very serious about privacy you're very serious about encryption and decryption of data through your website all right i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still having a conversation about the 12 proven steps to launching your online store successfully. I've already given you four steps, and now we're going to number five. But before I do this, if you love the content, clarity, and quality so far, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I want you to turn on the notification bell so you are informed whenever we drop a new show. And we do so every single day, rain or shine. Please comment below let us know your experience about online stores and uh, you know share this content and like number five customize your online store now it's very important to uh, choose a theme that matches your e-commerce vision and again it, it all depends upon the industry it depends upon the the uh, the sector you're in and your your target audience right the, the idea here is to to pick to go for, you can go for those uh, you, you just pick a website template don't reinvent the wheel right rather than building your, your site from scratch just download a template from a, from a site that has those templates right and just use them right now the thing here is that the customization process can be very timely and frustrating one so just find a thing that you like save it and and, and just get going the thing here is that remember that you have to pay attention to branding and when it comes to branding colors are very important right so for instance if your audience is primarily female you want to choose colors that appeal to females and vice versa right so make sure that you pay attention to colors now the the thing here is that you can use again we spoke about you know WooCommerce Shopify or 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 B commerce they have themes so you can choose a theme that allows you to make your brand shine now they have free themes and paid themes it, it's totally up to you it's totally up to you to see what works for you all right number six polish your website content set yourself really apart now you want to create an e-commerce site that's really unique I'm talking about you know very specific product pages well documented product pages right now product pages is where you will spend a, a lot of the time because they have a huge impact on how many of your website visitors end up converting to customers right and you know you can't control traffic but you can't control you cannot control your suppliers but you can control how much effort you put into making your product pages really high quality all right so you know you you pick the right product name you want to write a product descri the description that sells this is very important right this has to be one or two paragraph one or two paragraph pitch for the products you really want to spend time on this copy if you're not good at uh, copywriting outsource this right and and this allows you to really put things forward in the in the broadest way you can all you also need to show products photos 
So you want to shoot professional product photos. You can even have videos if you want to, right? If you are in the in, in an industry where people want to see stuff done, and it, it, this can be a 30 second photo about your product, right? Uh, 30 second video rather about your product. You also want to create company pages where you, you write, you know, you can have a simple homepage with a few popular products. You can write a compelling about us page always make sure and I will never stop repeating this always make sure that you add a contact page you want to be able to you want to be you want to make it easier for people to reach out to you all right step number eight launch your website so as soon as you commit to starting your business you want to take your site live even before listing any of your products so make sure that the, the, the developer has a two pages about us and contact I'm not you know don't invest too much money on this trying to like make it beautiful or appealing no just make it functional and make it professional functional and professional make sure that you have the right SEO items in it right on the about about us and in the contact page right and so once you do this you can basically just go in one of those uh, platforms that I've said before, whether it is, uh, you know, Shopify or WooCommerce or BigCommerce, and you will see a button there where they will say launch your store. In other words, make the store live and just click on that button and you start you, you just, your store is live. And from then, you know, there will be your, the content of your store will be fed into the overall content of uh, the, the platform as well as Google. All right. Number eight, start promoting your website. After launching the website, you got to promote it. Otherwise, nobody will know about it. I mean, I don't care how wonderful you think your products are or services are. If you don't promote, nobody knows you. Right. So there are several ways you can uh, promote your website. You can basically um, do public relations, right? So you can hire a, a PR company that specializes in uh, your particular sector. You can uh, reach out to, you can, you know, have a social media campaign, right? You can also reach out to a reporter. Actually, there is a, there's a great way if you know a local journalist that covers your industry, you want to reach out to him or her and have a conversation and see if, if it, there is a possibility for you to, uh, you know for you to appear in one of the pieces and you know you can also reach out to a professional you can reach out to a communication platform there are several of them online and what they do is they help you actually they call it expand or optimize your message so you can reach out to them and say you know this is the deal i have a I have a store that just opened uh, two weeks ago or two days ago and i want to promote it and they'll help you. All right. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation today about e commerce website creation, 12 proven steps to launching your online store successfully. And uh, I've given you eight proven store, eight proven steps so far. <laughs> I have four more to go now number eight number nine rather reach out to friends and family right now it's very important when you launch your store to to tap into your personalized relationship right? everybody think oh well you know you want to you, you got to promote but the promotion starts with your friends and i'm talking about you know the i'm talking about your your, your family members your friends your colleagues right your social network anything Right. So you reach out to those people and ask them, you know, to share, to share their, uh, to share your, your store with uh, their friends and their family members. Right. So, and this is very important. This is, this has a, a huge potential virality embedded in it. If you do it the right way. Now select a payment gateway, AKA e payment model. That's number 10, right? So this is very important because you, you, you want to, you know, if you if you want your credit card payment to be accepted on e-commerce website, it has to go through a payment gateway, right? So you have a payment gateway and also a credit card processor. 
now all of those things if you you know you're probably familiar with the paypal or stripe right now if you want to accept credit cards you want to have a recurring billing and mobile payments there are other gateways that you might want to pay attention to now remember that remember that before you're able to be approved for some of those gateways they what they will be doing some background check right so make sure to have a clean credit history a u.s driver's license or state id a u.s bank account for the business where funds will be deposited and a federal tax id that's what i said earlier a federal ein an employer identification number right now you might need a voided check or a bank letter with your account information you know and and if you want you can also include a cover letter with your application explaining your business and why you'll be successful so what i'm trying to say here is that you know you you want to get approved for a payment gateway and credit card processor and this is not an easy process so you have to join you have to uh, gather all the in all the data that i just asked you all the evidence i just told you the paperwork so you can get approved so this is very important in your journey to um launching your online store successfully number 11 you want to craft your aco for google amazon and facebook now as of today you know those are the top three platforms you want to cater to when it comes to online stores se online selling all right and the seo you you don't have to do a, a multi-platform seo no one one single seo can apply it not only to amazon google and and facebook the thing here is that you got to think about what what makes sense to your industry it makes sense to your audience where it is your audience where do they hang out at right and if you need to hire a professional for that do it okay now the the, the thing here is that you know you don't have to wait for the website development to be completed to start your seo from scratch actually you can actually boost your seo while it's very important while your developer is plugging away at your site all right so this is very important now for, for facebook for instance you can use um, the, the the same data feed from the merchant center and upload it to facebook facebook's product catalog right the, the you also have uh, something called google shopping campaign and this allows you to ensure that your product's images populate when users search for relevant keywords all right number 12 figure out packaging and shipping slash storage options right before you can launch your website you you want to figure out how to store and ship your inventory right now the you know you need to figure out storage to decide for which you need to decide with to decide which vendors you would, you want to reach out to okay now are you going to use drop shipping or will you store all your inventory in a warehouse right what kind of uh shipper would you use shipping company would you use fedex ups usps dhl or some combination of uh those four to ship and track packages right what would you ship your package in what size of packaging do you need all of those questions the logistic questions you have to think about uh, in advance now there might be some shipping restrictions on any of the products you're offering right so you want to think about that so if you're if you're selling alcohol or you're selling children's products this is uh this is something you have to pay special attention to right and uh, and and this and, and the thing is while the the developer is is working on the site and your uh, seo strategist is doing all the marketing work those are other things you need to think about right so this is very important so that at the right time all those so all those uh, questions pending questions will be answered and you can launch your website you can launch your store you can start making money you can start receiving you start getting sales properly all right so this is it folks we just want to wrap up today's conversation here and um if you love the content so far and uh, you appreciate the clarity uh, and the quality of the of uh, the video please drop us a like and a comment below also, you want to share our content and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and uh, turn on the notification bell so you are informed whenever we release a new show. Here is a recap of today's conversation. 
12 proven steps to launching your online store successfully. Number one, acquire a domain name. Number two, hire a web developer. Number three, make your business official. Number four, choose an online store and e-commerce solutions provider. Number five, customize your online store. Number six, polish your website content. Set yourself really apart. Number seven, launch your website. Number eight, start promoting your website. Number nine, reach out to friends and family. Number 10, select a payment gateway, AKA e-payment model. Number 11, craft your ACO for Google, Amazon, and Facebook. Number 12, figure out packaging and shipping slash storage options. I will see you next time. And until then, remember, stay marvelous.